most famous reindeer of all. Charles. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. What's up guys? <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Destiny and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the family. This week's video is going to be a holiday outfits video. I'm just going to be giving some inspiration for people who are like me that like to dress up for the holidays even though they're staying home. And this video is going to be in order from pants, dresses, and to skirts. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's just get right into it. Yeah, get into it! This is the first outfit. I just paired some flared pants high waisted flare pants with a nice red chunky sweater, really warm. If you want to layer under this, you can. You could wear a turtleneck under this or just a regular long sleeve so you can hide it. I paired this with some statin boots, some rhinestones on them. Now feel free to add a jacket if you would like as well. You can wear a red coat just like this. This is actually my grandmother's so I went into her closet just to get a few little statement pieces just like this. And since the sweater is red, the red coat goes really beautifully. You can also add this with a red lipstick as well. And this is the second outfit. If you don't like too much color throughout the holidays, this is a good option for you. This is a shirt I got from, I think, Baby Blue. It's a small boutique in Brooklyn. It's so festive yet also casual. And it has little tiny pearls all over the shirt, not on the back, but in the front. It's really cute and I paired this with some American Apparel high waist black jeans and boots from Aldo. And these are like snakeskin boots. These are one of my favorite boots, but unfortunately they are freaking killer on your feet. Bitch! <laughs> reference this is what it looks like with a little bit of an oversized red leather jacket so this is a good alternative if you're actually going outside you can layer like a cardigan underneath and just wear this with a scarf it'll look really cute and since we're all black the red is a nice statement piece and if you want a more casual look a cardigan is always a safe alternative as well it's a little bit oversized it has pockets so if you're one of those people that likes to carry your phone in your cardigan just like me this is great and it's also really warm this is the third outfit this is a little bit more neutral than colorful if you are a person that's more into creams and tans, this is a good outfit for you. I just paired some white ripped jeans with a white button up undershirt and I threw a cream-ish brown. I don't know what color this would be considered, but a brown sweater. It's a little bit cut up and discombobulated on purpose. I bought it this way. I got this sweater from Shein and it's actually one of my old dance costume pieces from when I was in college and it makes a cute little top, you know, and I paired it with some brown boots and these were actually handed down to me from my grandmother they're also pointy toe and they're chunky heels so they're ultra comfortable to walk in they also have a little i don't know if you guys can see it a small little band on the back that clips so it adds a little bit of a gold touch it's more comfortable if you want a more flowy type of uh outfit jeans and a sweater is a good go-to to make sure that you're comfortable chic and also kind of classy because of the undershirt you can add some nice little jewelry on top i'm just wearing the same pieces that i wore for the last outfits because gold tends to go with everything and you can pair this with a jean jacket a long coat whatever you want this is a furry jean jacket that i have my boyfriend actually bought me this for I think my birthday a few years back if you're going for more of like a cute soft look this is also a good alternative and this is a cute little white fluffy jacket that i have and since we're wearing white this will complement it really well and this is also really fun to move in and this is outfit number four this is a little bit more scandalous a little bit punk rocky i put some leather pants i'm not going to say leather pants because they're definitely pleather high-waisted pants and they have a nice elastic band right in the front so they're very comfortable and easy to move in and then i just put a red bralette that ties in the front with my black leather jacket that I had for the other outfit along with some black snakeskin combat boots. You can also wear high heels if you want, but I figured the top was enough. And I got these from Nine West. Very comfortable and really easy to break into. So if you're looking for some really cute combat boots that don't break the bank and also really comfortable, these are amazing and I'll link them in the description box below. And yeah, I thought this was very cute. The red bralette is a nice pop. Along all the black and I just went with the red because it is going to be Christmas, so 
yeah holiday inspired and this is outfit number five my head i hope it's not cut off from the camera because i'm wearing high ass heels this is an all white outfit if you want to be a little bit bold but also comfortable because Literally, it's just a bralette, high-waisted pants, and a really fuzzy jacket. But other than that, I really love this, and I'm too lazy to iron all these pants, so y'all getting what y'all getting. You get the picture. These are some really nice high-waisted pants. I actually, I believe I thrifted these from a Goodwill. They're really fuzzy and warm, like incredibly warm, so these are great for the winter time. And I got this bralette. This is from Victoria's Secret, and this white jacket. I really don't remember where it's from, but... A lot of places are selling them like this these days. Has a nice little hoodie. I think it's really cute with the gold accents. And if you want something simple, but also really sexy and classy at the same time, this is a good outfit for you. I love the detail here and the bralette goes nice with the high waist to add some space here. And I paired these with some black high heels. Sometimes people are a little bit scared to go like monochrome, do all one color, but literally it looks so good. Trust me, do it. And if you choose not to wear a jacket, the back is all the way open. So if that's something that you're comfortable with, go for it. But if not, you can always wear a jacket on top or a cardigan, like I said. That thing do be banging though. And this is outfit number six. We're working into the dresses now. This is a really flowy dress. I can move in any way that I want to in this. It's so comfortable and I don't feel like I don't have a shape in it. The way that it falls makes me feel really elegant and it's so beautiful. It has a nice shape and i just paired it with the same high heels i wore for the last outfit feel free to add stockings and boots if you want i'm just gonna pair it with this green cardigan look at how cute that looks elegant comfortable and also festive for the holidays if you want something really flowy but also dressy she's for you and i added some gold bangles along with some rhinestone hoop earrings and gold chain she cute oh what wow. the fuck and you can add this with a lipstick i'm just keeping it neutral because i'm wearing all of these outfits in one not one hour that's a lie it's, this is taking me quite a few hours to make but yeah <laughs> this is outfit number seven i had to add a red lip for this because this is one of my favorite dresses that i've ever thrifted before this is just a wraparound dress has one line of fabric that you can tie on the side of this kind of like a robe and it ties right in the back it's incredibly comfortable. It has beautiful sleeves here that adds a little bit more flow to when you're walking. I also have the bangles, same earrings, same necklace. And I paired it with the same stockings and boots that I wore for the last dress. If you want something simple, but also really vibrant, this is a great alternative and you can add a jacket or a cardigan, just like the other ones that we had, possibly a red jacket, just like this. But I think this is so cute. Like who is she? We don't know. Scandalous. And this is outfit number eight. This is a bodycon dress I got from Hot Miami Styles about three years ago. It's incredibly warm and it has long sleeves, which I love. This is cute and comfortable and I paired it with the same high heels I wore before. You could put this with a jacket or any type of cardigan as well. I have this really cute tan coat that my grandmother gifted me quite a few years ago that I hardly wear because it's so extra, but I love it. And it goes beautiful with this dress as well. Walk for me, Woo! walk for me, sir, walk for me, sir, walk for me, sir, walk for me, sir. This is outfit number nine, kind of casual, also really cute. This is just a green and white striped long sleeve shirt that I tucked into a white skirt with a little slit on the side. This skirt was also thrifted along with the white jacket that I was wearing before. And I just paired this with some green thigh high boots. Really cute, really classy, and very simple to put together. If you're looking for more of a statement jacket than a statement shoe, you can pair it with a really fuzzy long coat along with some booties. So these are just some green and black combat boots that I have, and they're ultra comfortable. They have a lot of padding on the sides, and they lace up in the front, so you have a lot of support, and they have a chunky heel, so they're comfortable to walk in. least this is outfit number 10 this is just a corduroy skirt with the same aldo boots that i had before the snake skins along with a very sheer button down top and i'm wearing a leather bralette underneath and you can also put some pantyhose or stockings underneath this as well to make yourself warm along with the scarf but i thought this was really cute really easy and festive at the same time because of the pattern and the warmth and like always if you want a more comfy look go for a cardigan this is just the first cardigan that i had in my closet so i just picked this one out and since it's green it's really festive so i figured it'd go with everything and it obviously does so if you want to wear it down a little bit you can add the cardigan and the stockings if you wish 
And with that, I end today's video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps me continue to make content for you guys. Make sure that you press that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. I hope you guys have a happy holiday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I can't hold it in.